In tonight's Eyewitness News Health Watch, inattention, inability to focus, lack of interest in academic activities. There are symptoms frequently associated with ADHD. Health Watch reporter Kelly Lynn tells us about a commonly misdiagnosed vision problem that glasses won't fix. It's called convergence insufficiency, a common eye disorder that makes close-up tasks like reading and writing difficult. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Brecca. Jada Jones is an avid reader, even though it sometimes gives her a headache, even though reading has long been a struggle. Sometimes I can't really see things that I was supposed to see. When she started saying, I'm not a very good reader, is when we, you know, started feeling really bad. We could see that her self-esteem was taking a hit. The difficulty surfaced in kindergarten and didn't improve until years later when Jada met with a developmental optometrist. It creates a lot of eye strain, fatigue, tension, headaches, and these children will have very little or no reading comprehension. Dr. Michael Kotlicky quickly diagnosed the eye tracking problem convergence insufficiency. The brain hasn't learned the timing and motor coordination skills it takes to converge, maintain the convergence, start tracking across the page like a printer or a typewriter for extended periods of time. Jada's mom says one of the doctor's first questions was did her daughter walk early? She did. A lot of babies that start actually walking fast actually get this convergence insufficiency because the hand coordination that babies do while they're crawling is stopped. Follow me. Fortunately, there is a cure. Since April, Jada has been undergoing visual therapy sessions. Her confidence has improved uh, tremendously since then. She still loves to read. She is very beautiful. So. For that, I'm very grateful. Dr. Kotlicky says with one hour, twice a week vision therapy sessions, most patients can overcome the disorder in four to eight months. In Columbia, I'm Kelly Lynn with Health Watch. Thanks, Kelly. If you think your child may have convergence insufficiency, contact a developmental optometrist for a visual analysis.